Hi there folks, in this video what we're going to do is have a look at creating a basic logon screen with widget and making it appear when you actually launch the game. So first things first, what we're going to do is just go down here, right click, go to user interfaces and then widget blueprint and we'll call this log on screen like so. Quite a simple name for exactly what it needs to be. Now, with your logon screen, you may have looked at my previous tutorials on how to build widgets and to play around with user interfaces. If not, that's fine. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just have a quick go at creating them now. So how I personally like to use uh, user interfaces within Unreal is creating multiple cameras uh, panels basically because it lets you have lots of uh, child actors underneath them and it lets you just have a greater control of the layout of the entire system. For this purposes, we're just going to default layout everything to the right hand side. So it might become a bit messy if we use different screen resolution or perhaps we used it on a mobile instead. It would have some serious issues there. But of course, that's up to you to fix later on if you wish to do so. So what I'm just going to do is quickly create a few canvases, a top bit there for the title, another canvas then just dragging it in underneath the other one. There we go. And this is going to be for the main user information. And then finally, we'll have another canvas just underneath that for passwords. So these are just box formats laying out where everything's going to go in the actual run of the game. So what we'll do is we'll quickly just drag a text box to the top one, like so. We'll call this um, logon screen, just like so. Centralize that, maybe increase the font size. If you have a custom font that you're looking to do, Feel free to use that at this stage. Right, now for the important stuff though, we're going to create a login screen information bit. So we're going to use text boxes. So we're going to type in our login names just into these boxes here. So what we might want to do is drag it down like so, and also drag in a text box just over the top of it which has some generic text in this one. And we'll call this um, user name, like so. Just increase the size of this bit so people actually know what's going on in here. So we'll just rename this one as well. Um, user name login, like so. So what will happen is when someone starts typing in here, we'll then be able to check if it is within the selected usernames. So with that, we need to have it on committed. You don't want to be checking it all the way through. Now, what we're going to do is drag it up here and cast this straight away to our shopping game mode. Get game mode, like so. Then we called this account in the last video. Get accounts. Break this information and you want to do a, a quick find items. Now, what we'll do is just set this up for a test at this moment in time. Um, ooh, so we're finding this within here. If it's true just say login. Right, I'm just going to check to see if this works to start off with. Um, so if this text equals one of these objects, any of these objects, equals true, then a login. Let's just have a quick check to see if this works. Oh, what we first of all have to do, sorry, is actually make it so this widget appears, because at the moment the widget isn't appearing. Easy to get ahead of yourself with these. So what you need to do is an event begin play, quickly drag out and type create widget, like so. 
add, we want to set that to the login screen widget. And then you just want to add a view, view, add viewport to this one here. So what should now happen is when we go to login, we'll be able to log in with some names. And I do believe Simon Free was a login name. There you go, it's not actually working. Why is that? There you go. There we go, it's now actually logging us into the system, which is great. If we try a random name, oh, it's still allowing us to log in. That's not right. So let's just have a quick check through here. Uh, get reference to this. Find this equals reference to this bit. Check to see if that works. Let's just check this. Just going to quickly change some more of this element design. Then I'll explain what I've actually created there because it might be a bit simpler just to quickly check if it works before we do anything that's why the size of it is tiny let's make that about 38 so we can see it and can we just throw that in the center yeah we can throw that in the center also just going to go to the game mode and actually uh, get a mouse cursor as well because we can't actually see the mouse position at the moment so what we're going to do is get player controller like so and then mouse uh, ooh, show mouse is what we want um, um, enable set show mouse cursor there you go and just drag this in so what this is going to do is getting the player controller finds the player controlling item so the keyboard and the mouse and then we're going to just get it so it then shows the actual mouse cursor throughout so what should now happen if i click on the center ah that's better so if i go simon free boom okay it's not logging in if it's a capital there we go it's because it wasn't a capital so now we have a base login system which is going to tell us if it's going to log in or out so I'll just explain the code of what I've done here because I do realize I just skimmed over this quite quickly. So what we have is the text box. We're checking to see if the name exists. We're then checking this against the account information here, which we created in a previous video, to find this information here. Now, it's finding that information from the account's data. It's then getting that information and it's then checking to see if it is equal to the information that we just tried to log in with. If so, it's then telling me to log in. If not, I'll get it to say print string, please enter a correct user name, like so. So now if I try it, hopefully it should make a bit more sense. So one of them was Dave2. There you go, it logs in. If I change that to Dave12, it will then say it's not logging in. And there, folks, is how we create a uh, basic logon screen within Unreal. Of course, we'll next go into the information to check for passwords, and I'll go through that with you in just a bit. Cheers.